So once you've plugged in a recorder or an IP camera to your network, common question we get is how do I find that on my network? We have an easy discovery tool that allows you to not only find the device, it'll allow you to make network modifications, as well as possibly do master password resets if for some reason you forget the admin password. I'm going to walk everybody through the Alibi configuration tool, and while this tool has quite a lot of features to it, uh, this video is going to focus on discovering devices on a traditional network, activating passwords for inactive devices, and then I'm going to show you how to modify the IP address settings in case you need to uh, make those changes uh, without having to go all the way to the camera's web page to perform these. Uh, so the first thing you do is install this program. It is a PC-based Windows program. Make sure that computer that you're going to be using is on the same network as your cameras. And then just open the program. Once it's open, you'll see all of your devices automatically start to populate down here in the bottom fields. If uh, for some reason you uh, see this total number of devices and it's not correct, you think you have more devices plugged in, click the refresh button. It'll recycle itself, reach out, try to find the other devices again, and hopefully that will populate everything correctly for you. Uh, once we find the device, we give you uh, as much information as we can about it. So we'll give you the name, the uh, password activation status, the IP address, firmware version, all the way down to serial number, MAC address, and then even the uh, start time of when that camera was last plugged in and turned on on this network. Um, so finding devices is pretty simple. Um, it doesn't take you know a specialized uh, you know network discovery tool. You can use our tool to uh, just find devices. We will find IP cameras as well as recorders. Once a uh, device has been found, we can do a couple of things pretty easily. The uh, most commonly used feature is to activate our cameras. So uh, for instance, this camera is inactive, meaning I haven't ever used it before. I plugged it in, it needs a password assigned to it. So when you highlight the checkbox in front of that camera, the activate button then becomes available at the top. So once I click this, it's gonna ask me to just put in a password. So once I assign my password to it, I confirm it. And once it's confirmed, I click the activate button. Uh, now you see the status has changed from active, uh, inactive to active. This now means that I can get into this camera by uh, you know, double clicking on the IP address to open a browser. Um, or I can also make other changes within the tool itself now that I have the uh, password assigned. Uh, the uh, next thing that we can do here is we can actually modify our IP address settings. So if I do not like this IP address after I've activated it, we click on the modify network parameters button. This will allow me to then assign a new static IP address or I can click the DHCP button at the top put in my password and that will automatically assign itself an IP address from the uh, DHCP server if the network does support that. Um, so as you can see it's pretty easy to get in and do some uh, slight modification tweaks. It should make the installation a lot faster and easier for you.